that's what I owe to 2012. The fact that it made me dream as big as I have and achieve the things that I have achieved so far. And it will continue to inspire me, I think, for the rest of my life. I was living in London and working in PR. Um, and I had actually been in a road traffic accident um, in 2009. And when I came out of hospital, I was just really unsure of what life had in store, basically. But I'd always been interested in sports. Never particularly a big watcher of Olympics or Paralympic Games as such, but I got tickets to two different days of the Paralympic um, the athletics event actually um, at the Olympic Stadium so that was really exciting but the memory that really stood out for me is when Johnny Peacock was competing because obviously the crowd got really excited and were chanting his name before his race started Peacock listen to the crowd the crowd know who they want to win Peacock's asking them to be quiet he wants silence and the crowd just need to listen and the decibel level just grew steadily and it was one of those moments that's electric you know you actually feel the hairs on your arms starting to stand up just to see something like that and witness this kind of little piece of history was special it's gonna be peacock peacock takes the goal and i think i knew at the time that it was special that's that's why i kept the tickets because i knew it was a special day i just reevaluated after watching some of these performances and um, thought about what was possible and achievable as someone with a disability and i think i viewed my life as limited in some way but watching the paralympics made me think actually there are no limits i could do pretty much whatever i wanted to do and as much as I didn't picture myself being a Paralympian just four years later, I did feel inspired to go out and kind of try and find sport again and pick up where I'd left off with, with trying archery a few years earlier. Arriving in, um, in Belo Horizonte, we arrived quite late and basically just had a chance to go to our rooms, drop our bags and go down to dinner. And when I went to dinner, I was in the dinner queue behind Johnny Peacock. And that was a real moment of kind of, this is quite nuts. You know, I was watching him competing in London only four years prior. And now here I am, um, you know, getting ready to compete at the 2016 games, right behind the person who was the most memorable part of the 2012 games for me. Yeah. 2012 just inspired me to, to think big and to dream even bigger than I ever have before.